Chicago Union Station isn't short of trains. As the third busiest passenger station in the U.S., it handles over 400 trains daily with a system designed for a completely different era of transportation. The result is chronic congestion, slow speeds, and increasingly apparent safety risks. In response, the Chicago Hub Improvement Program, CHIP, has emerged as a comprehensive effort to modernize the rail infrastructure at the heart of the Midwest. Against this backdrop, how is CHIP breaking down and rebuilding Chicago's rail hub at the system level to shape the future of American rail transportation, tune in to today's episode of On the Trains. So how did Chicago become the most critical and constrained rail hub in the national system? Overview. Chicago has long served as a strategic hub connecting regional and intercity rail systems across the United States, where Amtrak's intercity routes intersect with Metra's daily commuter network, creating a vital transit point for millions of passengers. This central role is reflected in the station's scale of use, serving more than 2.7 million Amtrak riders and 30 million Metra riders annually, with approximately 120,000 passengers passing through Chicago Union Station each day. Together, these upgrades directly respond to that demand, focusing on internal improvements that reduce delays, enhance safety, and strengthen the station's capacity to function as the backbone of the region's rail network. With 16 Amtrak lines and six Metro lines converging, Chicago not only serves transportation needs, but also plays a vital role in fostering labor connectivity, commerce, and economic growth throughout the Midwest. However, this central role also places Chicago under immense pressure within the system. Passenger numbers have steadily increased over time, while core infrastructure components such as stations, platforms, bridges, and maintenance facilities were not designed to accommodate the current scale of operations. As multiple modes of transport, intercity trains, suburban trains, freight trains, and waterways share limited space, congestion and delays become systemic problems. For example, the South Branch Bridge, built in 1914 and only 10 feet from the Chicago River, requires frequent lifting and lowering, disrupting Amtrak and Metra trains, as well as freight rail and waterway traffic. These disruptions highlight broader systemic challenges where outdated elements hinder efficient rail operations and fail to meet projected future growth. Amtrak's mission emphasizes providing efficient, high-quality intercity passenger rail services with competitive travel times compared to other modes of transport. Therefore, the need is not simply for repair but for a complete restructuring of the entire rail hub's operational system. The Chicago Center Improvement Program, CHIP, was developed to address precisely this need. Led by Amtrak and in partnership with METRA, the Illinois Department of Transportation, the Chicago Department of Transportation, Cook County, and the Michigan Department of Transportation, CHIP aims to improve operational efficiency, enhance safety, and strengthen system capacity in a coordinated manner. If the problem is systemic, where should CHIP begin its intervention within the center? itself. We'll explore that in the next section. First, we aim to reach 10,000 subscribers, and you are the ones who will help us achieve that. Subscribe to receive daily updates on important train information, major upgrades, the station modernization project includes upgrades to the lobby, mezzanine, and entrance areas to optimize passenger flow and create a more visitor-friendly environment for commuters, commuters, and residents. This transformation aims to turn the station into a vibrant transport hub addressing long-standing issues of orientation and overcrowding that affect daily operations. A key component is the Platform Reactivation Initiative, which includes reactivating four existing platforms and one defunct platform, such as the Post Office platform. This effort will increase station capacity and introduce leveled ramps to comply with ADA standards, facilitating easier access for all passengers. Simultaneously, the Platform Improvement and Ventilation System project expands four platforms and upgrades ventilation systems at the north and south stations. These changes directly address existing air quality issues, safety risks, and access barriers stemming from the station's age. Improved ventilation will minimize health and operational issues, while a wider platform will improve passenger flow during peak hours. The project status reflects ongoing progress. For the station modernization project, preliminary design is underway, with the final design partially funded by the FR Fiscal Year 2021 grant and Amtrak budget, along with matching funds from partners. The platform reactivation contract was awarded in the fall of 2025, with 
with plans to begin construction in early 2026. Similarly, the platform improvement and ventilation project entered the preliminary design phase in the fall of 2025, with contractor details expected in January 2026. Architects such as FX Collaborative and engineers such as A. Epstein and Sons were selected to oversee these efforts. Essentially, these station-specific projects represent a targeted strategy to modernize a key hub within the rail network. They not only address immediate shortcomings, but also prepare Union Station to meet growing demands, seamlessly integrating with regional services to enhance overall system performance. But can station-level improvements alone resolve bottlenecks that extend far beyond Union Station? Beyond station upgrades. Beyond the station upgrades, CHIP also includes infrastructure upgrades that benefit the entire rail network. The Southbridge Overpass project addresses the issue of the bridge being frequently raised and lowered, disrupting Amtrak, Metra, freight, and barge traffic. The plan is two-part, allocating $25 million to routine maintenance projects to extend the bridge's lifespan by 10 years, while initiating design and engineering for a replacement span to minimize future disruptions. The final SOGR design is nearing completion, with construction expected to begin in the summer of 2026 and preliminary engineering environmental assessments, PE NEPA, for the replacement will also begin around that time. The new Chicago Maintenance Facility Project assesses existing and potential land areas to optimize train storage and maintenance layouts as the current facility is overcrowded and unable to accommodate growth. This includes acquiring additional land and conducting design-slash-environmental impact assessments assessment NEPA processes to ensure facilities meet future needs. Additionally, the Southwest Michigan Transportation Capacity Enhancement Project restores up to 19 miles of double track between Niles and Glenwood Road, allowing trains to travel in opposite directions without stopping and improving reliability. The preliminary design is expected to be completed in 2026, supported by a 2024 Chrissy grant for the final design. These initiatives contribute to system-wide benefits, including reduced travel times and improved on-time performance by providing faster, more reliable access to Union Station for long-haul and state-supported commuter trains. The service expansion accommodates growth in Midwest intercity passenger rail and passenger volumes across the expanded Chicago metropolitan area. In addition, CHIP also aims at several system-wide upgrades to address long-standing operational limitations across the broader Midwest rail network. One of these initiatives is the Midwest Maintenance Campus, developed to address the limitations of Amtrak's existing maintenance facilities, which are operating beyond capacity and are no longer equipped to reliably maintain modern high-tech locomotives and passenger cars. By expanding and upgrading maintenance capacity, CHIP strengthens the backbone of day-to-day -day rail operations and supports future service growth. The acquisition of additional railroad yard land is currently underway, funded through Amtrak's IIJA additional fund allocation. Preliminary design work for the project is currently underway and is expected to be completed in 20 26, funded through Amtrak's budget, while the final design phase is supported by the U.S. Department of Transportation's Chrissy Grant Program for fiscal year 2023-2024. USDOTFRA, with corresponding contributions from Amtrak and the Michigan Department of Transportation. In addition to infrastructure upgrades, CHIP also integrates an initiative at the planning level through the Midwest Regional Central Routing Option Study. By bringing all potential connection projects to the equivalent conceptual design level, the study will establish a prioritized set of future investments aligned with regional mobility goals. The study, currently underway, is led by GFT, is scheduled for completion in the summer of 20. 2026 and is co-funded by the Illinois Department of Transportation and Amtrak funding. The Chicago Hub Improvement Program, CHIP, is funded from a combination of sources, including federal funding through grants from the Federal Railroad Administration, FRA, Amtrak's operating budget, and matching contributions from local partners. The majority of funding comes from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, IIJA, which underpins FRA grant programs such as the Federal State Partnership and CRISI. By early 2026, the program had received hundreds of millions of dollars through various specific grants, $3 million from the FRAFY 2021, plus $3 million in matching funds for the final design of the Union Station modernization, approximately $93.6 million from Federal State Partnership FY, 
2022 to 2023 grants for platform improvements, ventilation, and reactivation of the mail platform, $8.384 million from Chrissy FY 2023 to 2024 for the final design of the Southwest Michigan project, along with $25 million specifically for state of good repair maintenance of the South Branch Bridge, and $40 million from Amtrak funding to support design construction at the station. Amtrak contributes primarily through annual budgets and IIJA allocations, while local partners provide matching funds, typically 20 to 30 percent of project costs. Despite securing funding for the design phase and some initial construction, with a major launch expected in 2026, CHIP is still applying for significant additional grants as the total program cost is estimated to exceed $1 billion. Benefits When considered holistically, CHIP delivers outstanding benefits beyond individual projects. Operationally, the program reduces change over times, improves accuracy, and enhances network reliability. These improvements are particularly important in a context where multiple train classes share the same infrastructure. For passengers, CHIP contributes to an enhanced experience through more modern station spaces, better accessibility, and improved safety levels. The reactivation and expansion of the platform also facilitate future service expansion. On a broader scale, CHIP supports improved connectivity with employment centers, promotes regional economic development, and contributes to carbon emission reduction by encouraging the use of rail freight. These benefits reflect Amtrak's goal of providing efficient and reliable freight services to its customers. The Chicago Hub Improvement Program is not simply a collection of infrastructure projects, but a shift from a piecemeal approach to a comprehensive restructuring aimed at meeting not only current needs but also future growth. Looking ahead, 2026 marks a pivotal year with key construction projects underway, promising a more efficient rail network that supports economic growth and sustainable development. That's all for today. Until the next stop.